Hey guys, Amp here, bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll be going over the Pixel Persona in Affinity Designer. Now, when you open up Affinity Designer, there are three personas you can work in. There's the Draw Persona, the Pixel Persona, and the Export Persona. Now, these three personas give you individual tools based on what you want to do with the program that you've chosen. So, in this specific one, these are the three personas you are working with. Now, we will be focusing on the Pixel Persona today. Now, what the Pixel Persona is, is a set of minimum tools required for adding raster effects to your vector image. Now, with the difference between a vector image and a raster image is a raster image is made up of pixels, obviously each of different colors, to display the image that you desire, while vector image is made up of paths, which in layman's terms use a mathematical formula or a vector that tells the path how it is shaped and what color it is supposed to be filled by. Now, since raster images use pixels, their appearance can change with size. Now, when you increase a raster image, it tends to get blurry, but vector images re retain their appearance regardless of size, since the mathematical formula dictates how each uh, pixel on your screen displays the image. So raster images don't necessarily have a disadvantage to vector images, but they are used for different purposes. And vector images are displayed the same way every time. Now, since this persona is tools for adding raster effects to a vector image, you can add pixel effects. So there is a pixel tool over here that allows you to add one by one squares to your image and you can increase the size of these by the way but just one pixel length to whatever you're adding. Now you can change the color of this obviously and you can even by selecting and coming back to the brush, you can change the width. So now the pixel width is bigger. Uh, so this whole persona is basically, if you wanted to add pixel effects to an image without pixels, and it's hard to comprehend why one would want to do this, but you can add certain things to shapes. You can uh, add more depth effects with these tools down here which are the burn, dodge, smudge, blur, and sharpen tools. Now these will not do anything to a pixel image, but they are used in vector images quite a bit. And sometimes you can even come over and use them here uh, in this persona uh, on a vector image. So what the pixel persona mainly allows you to do is add these pixel effects. It has some pretty good brushes like the selection brush, which can make things easier for selecting things on both raster and vector images. Uh, the paintbrush, obviously, which allows that. There's the flood fill tool. But this persona is mainly for adding sort of minute details to certain things. So all of these tools don't really have a lot of design effects as when you're in the draw persona it's very colorful as you can see there's shapes you can add you can do different things to different images there's different brushes you can play around there's the pen tool there's the pencil tool you have a vector brush see this even has vector tools so it doesn't allow when I, when I use this these are no pixels this will always be the same no matter how I change it but if I come over here and have this, these will always be the same amount of pixels. And when I increase, it gets distorted, but that is what the pixel persona is. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials. Thanks.